Would you like to come over for a cuppa? Is that like a cupcake or something sweet? Oh no, a cuppa is just a cup of tea, but I can offer you some cake if you like. Sure, I'd love a cuppa and some cake. As you already noticed, I love drinking tea, and last week. I talked about the history of tea in the UK, but if you're not sure about tea or think you might not like it, don't worry. I'm here to introduce you to different types of tea. I'm sure we can find one you really enjoy. And of course, I'll show you how to make a British cuppa. You can say a cuppa instead of a cup of tea. People in some places use it a lot. For example, someone might say, "When I'm tired, I enjoy having a cuppa to relax." Hi, I'm Georgiana. Thanks for joining me for another episode of the podcast. My mission is to help you improve your English fluency. If you want to help me. Share the podcast with your friends and family. That would mean a lot. Thanks. On my website, you can get the five secrets to speak English, and also my premium courses. Before we start, get the transcript at speakenglishpodcast dot com slash podcast. It's completely free. Okay. Let's start. In the UK, people enjoy drinking many different kinds of tea. However, the most popular tea in the UK is black tea. People put milk and sometimes sugar in it. Some famous black teas are English breakfast tea, Earl Grey, Lady Grey. Assam and Darjeeling. Green tea is not as popular as black tea in the UK, but some people like it. It's healthy and comes from Japan and China. Herbal teas such as peppermint and chamomile are caffeine-free and come in various flavors. People enjoy them. Because they have a calming effect. Chai tea has spices like cinnamon and ginger. Trust me, it's delicious when you add milk and sugar. White tea isn't as standard, but some people enjoy it. It's light and has a subtle taste. Oolong tea. Is like black and green tea, and it comes in different flavors. Rooibos tea is a caffeine-free tea from South Africa. It has a gentle, sweet, and earthy taste, often with hints of vanilla or honey. In the UK, you can also find specialty blends. These are teas with unique flavors like flowers, spices, and much more. Great! Let's learn how to make a cuppa. In short, to make tea, you need a kettle, a teapot, and tea. To make hot water quickly, use a kettle. Kettles come in two types. Electric ones and stovetop ones. They heat water until it's boiling, and you can use this hot water for several things, including making tea. To make tea, we need a teapot. A teapot is a special container used for making tea. First, you put tea bags. Or loose tea leaves into the teapot. Next, pour the hot water from the kettle 
over the tea into the teapot. You wait for a few minutes to make the tea stronger. Some people like to add milk or sugar to the tea, but not everyone does. Finally, you pour the tea from the teapot into cups and enjoy. Great! I hope you're having fun learning. Let's continue with a point of view lesson. I will tell the same story twice, so make sure to focus on the changes. You can find these techniques fully implemented in my premium courses at speakenglishpodcast.com slash courses. Okay, let's start. Hi, I'm Margaret, and on a sunny day, I visit Lady Grey, who lives in Teaberry Village. She's a well-known lady, famous for her expertise in tea. I am interested in learning about tea and asking Lady Grey for lessons. She is pleased with my enthusiasm and agrees to teach me. We start with the history and traditions of tea. I pay close attention and ask questions like, how can I make the perfect cup of tea? And does the size of the teacup affect the taste? These questions seem a bit unusual for Lady Grey, but she kindly answers them. I show great dedication as time passes. But my approach is slightly different. I practice making tea on my own, focusing on every detail to get it right. Lady Grey begins to feel there is a misunderstanding between us. One evening, I present her with a special gift. It's a beautifully framed collection of the letter T drawn in various artistic styles. That's when Lady Grey realizes the amusing mistake. I thought she was teaching me how to create artistic versions of the letter T. We both laugh, clearing up any awkwardness. This funny mix-up leads to a unique friendship. Lady Grey shares her tea knowledge while I introduce her to calligraphy. Together, we blend our love of tea and lettering, becoming the best of friends in the Teaberry Village. Let's listen to the story in the past tense, in the plural form. Hi, we are Margaret and Maggie. And one sunny day, we visited Lady Grey, who lived in Teaberry Village. She was a well-known lady, famous for her expertise in tea. We were interested in learning about tea and asked Lady Grey for lessons. She was pleased with our enthusiasm and agreed to teach us. We started with the history and traditions of tea. We paid close attention and asked questions like, How can we make the perfect cup of tea? And, Does the size of the teacup affect the taste? These questions seemed a bit unusual for Lady Grey, but she kindly answered them. We showed great dedication as time passed, but our approach was slightly different. We practiced making tea on our own, focusing on every detail to get it right. Lady Grey began to feel there was a misunderstanding between us. One evening, we presented her with a special gift. It was a beautifully framed collection of the letter T, drawn in various artistic styles. 
That's when Lady Grey realized the amusing mistake. We thought Lady Grey was teaching us to create artistic versions of the letter T. We all laughed, clearing up any awkwardness. This funny mix up led to a unique friendship. Lady Grey shared her tea knowledge while we introduced her to calligraphy. Together, we blended our love of tea and lettering, becoming the best of friends in Teaberry Village. Great! I like these kind of stories because they're easy to remember and help a lot with learning English. Humor also makes learning more enjoyable. You can find this method in my premium courses. Take a look at speakenglishpodcast.com slash courses to get my premium courses. They are designed for learning by listening. Also, if you want to help me, share the podcast with your friends and family. That would mean a lot. Thanks. See you soon. Bye bye. Did you enjoy today's episode? Get the transcript now at speakenglishpodcast.com.